It's a beautiful morning out here this morning, guys, and there's already some pretty big swirls. I don't know if it's a gator that's right here next to the shoreline or what, but what we're gonna do is we've currently got three handline reels. We've got the Cuban yo-yo, we have the bottle fishing rig, and the big yo-yo. Well, I mean the yo-yito, and we're gonna go ahead and get the fishing started here. I'm gonna put probably two on the bottom, and then I'm probably gonna use one that's probably gonna just you know, do some night crawl. And I'm using night crawlers today. Um, just gonna go ahead and give you a fair warning. If the night crawlers aren't producing well, I might end up catching a small bluegill and using him for bait. If you don't wanna see that kind of thing, I'll, you know, let you know before I do it. I'm not gonna kill it on camera or anything, but I just, you know, I want you guys, you know, some people don't like seeing that, so I'll give you a fair warning before I use it. But uh, yeah, let's get the fish started. All right, so we're gonna start with first, it's just a little float down to a little jig head with a piece of red wiggler. We're gonna see if we can get a hold of some, you know, early morning. I wanna get it right over there by the, uh, by this tree. We had a lot of luck there before. Now, I don't know. There's still a little bit of current coming towards me. That's what it appears to be. On the other one, we've got a bank sinker, a swivel, and a big old ball of night crawler on a one aught hook. Hopefully, this will get something out there that's hungry to bite. No bites on the first one we put out yet, so maybe I should have made this a little bit shorter. That not where I wanted that to go. Terrible first cast. And my line snapped right off. Interesting. Give me a minute here, guys. I'm gonna grab a different line. Give me, uh, give me one second. All right, guys. So we got a little wax worm, fake one, tied onto our um, Amago. We're gonna use that for a little bit. We still have both of our baits out. Everything is just getting tangled up this today. I don't know what it is. If it's me, it's because I didn't finish my coffee. I had to dump it out because I'm sticking it. I feel like I have some sand in this thing. Oh, hear that? That does not sound good. I need to clean this Imago out. What the heck is going on? I need to clean the Imago out. All right, so like I said, just a little wax worm imitation. I want to try a couple other patterns on this today. It can go wrong today. It seems like it's going to. Our little guy which we are probably gonna keep and use this little guy for bait so uh, as I was saying earlier if you don't want to see that then just be expected it's gonna be happening soon but I'm gonna go ahead and get him out here and dispatch him and all that good stuff so uh yeah. All 
All right, guys. Pyramid or bank sinker. Piece of small piece of cut bluegill. I would have preferred to put it on a circle hook, but I don't have a circle hook that big, so this is gonna have to do for this morning. It's about right where I wanted it too. That very rarely happens. Get the slack reeled in. Lay it on our handy dandy chair. And if we get a slack line, we'll know it. All right, so I'm gonna wrap up the Cuban yo-yo for a little bit. Because the main reason I wanted the Cuban yo-yo was so that I could catch a piece of bait so that we could get some fish, what the? Of course, we've got bait now, so we don't need Cuban yo-yo at the moment. So we're gonna retire it for the moment and we are going to get back to the Imago, because it's a little bit more fun to use this over uh, hand lining. Hand lining is fun when you get heavier fish. When you got little pan fish and stuff, it works. But it's, uh, it's not as fun. You don't get very much feedback from the, I mean you do, but you don't really get to feel them pull. in your handline fishing you want to be kind of over geared for whatever you're fishing because you don't have a drag another little guy well, not too little nice size flyer nice size flyer What do y'all think? Nice size flyer. Look at the colors on that back fin there. I don't know if this camera's picking it up, but it's like a leopard print on that back fin. And top fin too. It's really pretty. All right, well, we're gonna let this little guy go. Head first. Got a little something here, guys. Ooh, may not be too, ooh, he's not too little. He's pulling good. Hopefully we don't lose him. Feel my line. Ah! Oh. Did y'all see that crap? Hope I was recording. That was a nice sized bass. Man, that was unfortunate. Nice size bluegill though. Jumped up and spit my hook. Probably wasn't hooked very good in the first place. Man, that sucks. Nice little blue kill. I was just thinking about maybe I should put a bigger hook next time I come out here and do 
Tinkara, because if I get another big bass, I might not be able to hold on to the hook. And then boom. I mean, the hook didn't bend out or anything, but. I did want to try something that I haven't tried before on here. Just kind of why I was thinking about this earlier. I wanted to try something a little different. I don't know how it's going to work just because of, you know, the weight. But I've always wondered how a rooster tail would do on a Tinkara rod. Granted, I don't quite have the smallest setting one that I'd rather have. So the thing's gonna be a little too heavy for the rod, but. I think I've tried this before and it was, oh, come on. I think I've, see, it's just a little rooster tail. Doesn't feel like it's spinning either. Yeah, that ain't gonna work for me. All right, guys, we are, uh, we're gonna be done for that spot for this morning. It was doing pretty good until I missed that bass and that kind of spoiled my morning. But um, we're gonna go to the bridge that was way too, well, I don't think I showed it that last week when we first found this place, but we're gonna go to the bridge where we've caught catfish before only one but it was a fairly nice sized catfish so we're gonna go there for now and we're gonna give it a try plus I'm tired of going there and getting skunked I want to go there and say that I haven't been skunked in a while so hopefully we can catch at least one catfish for this video I want to do some catfishing today and they don't want to bite so we'll see but I'm gonna get out there and we're gonna give it a try and I'll catch up with y'all at the water. Alright guys. Let's see what we got here. Something running along the bank head. Is that an otter? Oh, it's a turkey. I don't know if y'all can see that. There's turkeys. Oh, it's turkeys and her baby. I didn't want to scare y'all. Plot twist, turkeys can fly. I knew that, I just thought it was funny. You don't ever see them fly. And they're adults, at least. At least I don't know. The water's looking slow. It's good. Last time we were here was like 100 miles an hour. Something just moved, so that's a plus two. Now let's hope we can get down here without breaking our necks. And we're gonna do some fishing. Now, I've never fished from this side before. We've caught catfish on this side. When we cast out, it was over here that we caught him. So we were on the opposite bank. All right, guys, let's get this fishing started. What we've got on right now, still got that piece of bluegill. So we're gonna start with that piece of bluegill. And uh, we're not going to cast out too far, just, well, wow, it's deep there. Well, that was quick. We already lost our bait and our hook. Well, let's get rigged up.
Not getting skunked today, guys. Finally got something besides catfish here. So we know that there's bluegill here. And this little guy, unfortunately, is going to be bait. Maybe. What I'm using is a size 2 circle hook. Not too all, just size 2. Well guys, I think I'm going to have to call it here. I'm officially out of time. But uh, if y'all enjoyed the video, like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm gonna go home and eat some breakfast. That I have yet to eat. I still need coffee. I'm getting a caffeine headache. That's another reason why I gotta call it. Those ants really ruin my morning. Between the ants and the losing the big bass it really sucks. But I guess it could be worse. 